Bigsby, stop chewing on the cord. Now lie down and straighten out that cord for me. Oh, that's a good boy. Well, after the leak and the rumors, I can finally talk about the Tonex pedal. I have an idea where the leak came from. I'm not at liberty to say, but I can say with pretty good confidence that the short list of YouTubers that got early access to the pedal had nothing to do with it. Uh, that being said, I wanna thank IK Multimedia for including me in that short list so I can play around the pedal. I got it about uh, three weeks ahead of launch so I can provide some feedback and ultimately make this video for you guys. Now, there's gonna be a lot of coverage on the Tonex pedal, so in an effort to minimize redundancy, what I wanna focus on for this video are the different use case scenarios for the Tonex pedal and how you'd set it up in each case. Of course, I'm gonna give you an overview of the pedal, but where are you gonna use it? How are you gonna set it up? I've got a whole bunch, and you gear snobs there who like your real amps, as I do, uh, I've got one for you too that might be kind of surprised that it might actually fit into your signal chain as well. So what I've done is I've created a song and I've recorded a bunch of tones, most of which come shipped with the pedal, but as an added bonus, uh, sitting beside me right here is one of my dream amplifiers. I recently acquired uh, the Angle Powerball 2. I've tone modeled this amplifier and I put it on the pedal. Yes, that's one of the things that you can do. So start to think about that. So I've included that in the song. And as a value add, I'm gonna make the tone model for this amplifier available to you for free on tone.net. I'll remind you later how you can get that. All right, so let's check out the song. And on the other side, I'm gonna show you the different setups and how we can use the Tonex pedal. So let's uh, take a look at an overview of the different features of the Tonex pedal. If you're new to Tonex, this is IK Multimedia's latest amplifier ecosystem with advanced modeling technology. Originally released as an app and a plugin, Tonex ships with an assortment of hyper realistic amp, cab, and pedal captures known as tone models. If you're already familiar with Tonex, then the pedal contains everything you already love about Tonex with added portability and hands on control. The USB connection allows you to share presets between the pedal and the app via the librarian, now available in the updated Tonex app. 
In conjunction with the release of the Tonex pedal, there are a number of updates to the app itself, including color-coded presets and better access to a number of parameters. The pedal itself has the same form factor as the X-Gear series of pedals with three switches, an assortment of dual function dials, and a large display. The black and orange motif is stunning and the illuminated amp grills on the sides is a very nice touch. The dials in the middle give you access to standard amp features like gain, three band EQ, and master volume. Holding down the parameters gives you access to reverb, compression, a noise gate, presence, and depth. All parameters are fully editable on the pedal. You can cycle through the stored presets accessible from 50 banks of three, all assignable to the three main switches. You can also cycle through the individual tone models, reassign or turn cabinets on and off, and you even have access to VIR tech parameters with the ability to adjust the relationship between the virtual microphone and the cabinet. Around back, you have a mono input jack, stereo outputs, a headphone jack, MIDI in and out, external control, and the USB port. Whether you just want access to an assortment of amazing sounding tone models, or if you want to capture your own amps and conveniently take them with you, Tonex will be a great solution. And with lots of connectivity, the Tonex pedal will easily adapt to a myriad of use case scenarios. Let's jump into those now. So the first way to use the Tonex pedal is the simplest way, and that's using it with headphones. Just plug your guitar into the input and your headphones straight into the headphone jack. It's actually the first way that I use the pedal. And honestly, it's amazing. Just that sensation of hearing the noise from the amps and the way it responds and your fingers just lightly touch the strings. Very, very realistic. I mean, with all the amps built in here, it's just gonna be very inspiring if you're using it as a practice tool. If you shop at a physical location, I highly recommend you plug in headphones. I've got open back headphones, so it's got that airy sensation anyways. But that makes the Tonex pedal a great way just to practice. You can crank it up to 10, get inspired with all these different amplifiers, and you're not gonna piss off anyone in the house because you're the only one that's gonna hear it. So for the first uh, setup scenario for the Tonex pedal, headphones, it's gonna make it an awesome practice tool. All right, let's take a look at a couple recording scenarios for the Tonex pedal. Now, if you're early days or just looking to set up your first guitar rig and you're a little light on gear at the moment, the Tonex pedal is gonna cover off a number of things. Now, because it's got a USB connection, it's not just for saving presets, it becomes an audio interface. Yes, an audio interface. So you plug your guitar into the input, you take the USB connection into your computer and it, you assign it as the audio interface and then you choose the input uh, where your guitar is coming in and set your preset here on the pedal and record away. But get this, if you like using the pedal to set up your presets, you can do that. Save it as a preset. Use the librarian feature in the Tonex app. Copy that preset over. Now it's gonna be available in the plugin as well. You can bypass your preset here on the pedal, record a DI signal, and then you can apply your amp preset in your DAW. This way you've got a clean DI signal. You can change the amp later. It's a really flexible way to work. Uh, you can use the amp here, bypass the cabinet, just record the dirty amp tone, apply your cabinet over there. It just becomes a very flexible way to work. So if you're looking to set up a guitar recording setup and you just don't have a lot right now, you've got your amps, cabs, pedals, and your audio interface all built into one device. <laughs> So if you've got a more sophisticated setup at home, you've already got an audio interface, maybe you've even got some outboard gear, how does Tonex fit in that scenario? Well, we've got you covered here too. We can take your favorite preset, you can take the output from the pedal, go straight into your system, into your audio interface. If you're running through outboard gear, just like you were recording uh, a real amplifier, treat the Tonex pedal like an amplifier, run it through your system any way you want. You can bypass the cabinet here, record the dirty amp tone, and then you can apply IRs either through the Tonex app, you can even apply third-party IRs. Start to mix and match now, this just becomes your amp head, you can apply your cabinets in the mix. Uh, there's just so many different ways um, you can apply the Tonex pedal. Now that jam that I showed you off uh, near the top of the video that I recorded, uh, I took the output from the pedal in a couple scenarios, I actually added some pedals to the signal chain. You saw that in the video, but I ran it through input one on the XIO, that juicy input. I love that input on the XIO, a great preamp there and some nice adjustments there. So I got it the way I wanted to sound on the way in. So it's just sort of in a more advanced technique in terms of recording. The Tonex pedal can take the place of your amplifier, but you can run it through your regular rig. 
it's just going to give you more options if you've only got a, an amp or two in your studio and you want to add some dumbbells or some orange amps or angles if you don't have them uh, you've got them here in the pedal and uh, you can just run it through your existing system so again it just adds another layer another option in your guitar recording arsenal let's start looking at scenarios outside of the home or outside of your studio if you'd like to keep things really really simple I mean you can take the pedal on its own you've got all the amps and the pedal combinations that you need here you've got your reverb noise gate and compression you get all your patches set up the way you want them you can assign them to the buttons on the front you can bank you just have access to a lot of different amplifiers you can just take the output from the pedal and run it into a PA system if you've got a PA at your rehearsal space or if you're doing simple gigs and you just want a really really simple setup that's all you really need on stage. Take the output into the PA and you're good to go. Now, guitar players tend to be a little bit more complicated. It's kind of hard. You want to delay, you want some other effects. You can actually build a really cool fly rig out of the Tone X pedal. Now, I don't want to debate pedal order. That's a topic for another video and I've done it a few times. But let's talk one scenario here where we can put, let's say, you know, overdrives, distortions, things like, you know, phasers, um, even a Wawa pedal, things like that. We can put that in front of the Tonix pedal. And then on this side, we can apply, um, you know, our modulation effects and our time-based effects like chorus, delay, and reverb. Uh, get that all on a pedal board and suddenly you've got a really cool fly rig. Again, you just take the output from the last pedal in the signal chain, send that to the PA, and suddenly you've got an awesome fly rig. And lastly, for you stubborn folk who insist on bringing out all of the big gear to the gigs, you know what, I respect you. I really, really do, because I love doing it that way too. But you know what, the Tonex pedal can actually bring an extra layer to your live rig. So if you've got your amp and your cab, uh, perhaps you've got a power amp. That would be one scenario that I can think of. Uh, your guitar would go into the input of the Tonex pedal. You take the output into your power amp and then into a cabinet, uh, because there's actually no amplifier obviously built into the Tonex pedal. Uh, if you're running a regular guitar amplifier, uh, as long as it has an effects loop, you can take, again, your guitar will go into the input of the pedal, take the output into the return of your effects loop, and then suddenly the Tone X becomes your amplifier using the power section of your guitar amp and that will power your speakers. I wonder what my Powerball tone model would sound like going through the effects loop of the actual Powerball. <laughs> That says a lot. Really, there's a lot of ways you can apply this. If you have double rigs, you can have one amp rig, then you can have a secondary one uh, running the way I suggested, and you can have all sorts of other amps there, dumbbells, oranges, angles, marshals, endless amount of amplifiers, some you may have captured yourself, just bring in extra options so you can combine a real amplifier setup with some additional amplifiers available through the Tonex pedal. If you wanna keep it a bit simpler, you can go with something like a lunchbox head. Again, as long as it has an effects loop, just run that into the return of uh, the lunchbox amp. A little bit of a smaller setup, but again, you're gonna have a variety of different amplifiers. That would be a great solution for some gigs as well if you wanna keep it real, but keep it a little bit smaller. You know what, the possibilities are endless and I'm sure I've missed all sorts of scenarios. Well, but that's where you come in. If I've missed anything or if you've got any other ideas or ways we can set up that Tone X pedal, I would love to hear from you. Just let me know in the comments. Wait, hold on, I've got one more setup for the most stubborn of you all. If you insist on using real amps and cabs for every part of your guitar playing life, again, I respect you. I love real amplifiers, but think about this. Tone X can also model pedals. That's right, pedals. So you could load up this Tonex pedal with all sorts of distortion pedals, overdrive pedals, boosts, fuzzes. It comes with Tonex. Also, because of the MIDI connection, it's MIDI switchable. So if you've got a MIDI switching system, you can assign this to all sorts of your patches live, call up different stomp boxes. It just becomes another great pedal in your arsenal and probably the most versatile. Well, I seem to get through that without any more incidents from my furry friend over there. Uh, Bigsby is such a troublemaker, but I love him. So anyways, Tonex, we can see the big vision coming into focus now from the app, the plugin, and now we have an actual pedal. So whether you just like great amp models, whether you like creating your own, uh, whether you 
bit of a hybrid, you know, if you're in studio, if you're gigging or practicing, there's so many applications for Tonex now, especially now that we have a physical pedal. It truly is an amazing ecosystem and uh, definitely worth checking out if you can get your hands on it. Uh, don't forget uh, the Engel Powerball 2 capture that I did. Uh, if you're on tone.net, just look me up, Lonely Rocker. You'll see the Lonely Rocker Engel Powerball 2 Channel 3. I'm just waiting there for you for free. I'll also put some information in the description if you want to get directly to it. Make sure to download that. Would love to hear your thoughts if you got any. Are you going to try it out? Have you already got yours? Have you any questions? That's what the comment section is for. But if you did like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you want to do a deeper dive with me, I'm on Patreon. I have affiliate links, including a list of a lot of the gear that I have here on my studio. It kicks back a little something uh, here. It helps me create more content, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I've got merch. It's all in the description. It all helps, and I really appreciate that. But the most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video.